I'm gonna be a busy boy this week. I'm gonna be very busy. I don't even know why I am streaming right now. I just felt like it. I'm super tired. I probably shouldn't have streamed. I'm like exhausted. Oh jeez. But uh, the gist is tomorrow I'm gonna wake up early. I'm probably going to spend my entire day clipping shit and gathering stuff for the uh, the very suddenly decided to stream uh, into the year stream. And then on Wednesday, I'm going to be streaming again about Wings of Redemption. And that's going to be that's going to be fun. That's going to be fun for a lot of wrong reasons. Because um it's going to make a lot of people hate me. <laughs> Cuz Wings Wings of Redemption has already been done. As far as I'm concerned the the stream that Jim did on Wings of Redemption is is comprehensive. You don't really need to say anything else about Wings himself. Uh but what I want to talk about is the troll sphere around around Wings. Wings is Wings has the Sons of Kojima 2.0 around them and the people involved in trolling wings of redemption are so secretive and so crazy like they have a like they have a multi-level discord permission set up and they delete channels constantly like they close they clone channels and delete the old ones to hide the history and nobody's talking to me. Nobody's talking to me whatsoever. I'm trying to talk to people and like I I'll I'll show you this. I'll show you this, if nothing else, um, as, as like a teaser. <laughs> let me let me find it. What the fuck is this guy? It's crazy. Like I talked to him just a couple days ago, and um, he's already pushed down so far down my uh, my friends list and shit. Here, this guy. This is uh, there's some drama between a couple of content creators. No, no, I'll show that one next. Uh, this is I'm trying to talk to Lean, right? He's one of the guys that does the videos for for the fat guy. And as I'm poking around trying to get a hold of people, the, one of the other trolls who hates Lean, who hates Lean, who wanted Lean to get out of their community, who banned Lean from their channel, says, "Yo, this is important. You know this dude called Josh." They're from one of those 4chan sites. Just had to warn you because the guy is a pedo asking around people info about wings and shit. It's like you don't want to you don't want to talk to him. <laughs> and then that's this is the same guy that sent this. I'm asking him some general information, general questions about the Discord server, and and um, wings of redemption. And that's his response. After a while, he deletes everything he sent me using a bot or something, and then just starts spamming nonsense at me. And it's like, okay, these guys are fucking crazy. These guys are like schizophrenics, like fucking Fred Fox. And they're crazy people. And there's a lot of, there's another shit, like this lean guy, the whole beef with him and in Wings of Redemption. It stems from the fact that Lean's videos aren't wholly negative to, to Wings of Redemption. And, um... Uh, Discover. Wings of Redemption. I'm sorry, let me find this on the fly. I wasn't going to show this. Is this it? No, this is the shot... This is the Sean Ranklin video. Um, but the guy, he joins the Discord to talk to them, and the people he's talking to are just so fucking pathetic. Like, they're, they're nasty fucks. And they're, they're, like, he's talking to them, and he's like, What do you guys want? And he, the guy is like, I, I want to ruin your life, I want to make your life a living hell. That's like if you if you're you know following a lol cow and the reason why you're following the lol cow is that you want to make their life a living hell. You're not in it for the right reasons. You're you're fucked up. You're you're a fucked up person and you're way too emotionally invested in a crazy person on the internet. And 
it's not even just that they want him to like like a lot of people want like dark side phil to stop streaming and get a job well with wings of redemption they're making like fake resume sites in his name like they're buying his name as a domain name and setting up fake resume sites where they just say awful shit in the first person as if he wrote it and it's quite clear that they don't want him to stop streaming and get a job they want him to be completely fucking destitute and it's like why because he he got mad playing video games because he said the word nigga once. Like, get the fuck over yourselves. What's wrong with you people? And um, the moment I started asking questions, like, these people completely fucking locked down. They refused to talk to me and shit. And, uh... Yeah, it's just it's just fucking nonsense. Uh, somebody sent me a tweet from a Wings account, but I don't even think that's him. Like, it looks convincing. It sounds like something he'd write, but Wings, like, I follow the real Wings' Twitter account on my Twitter. That's not the right address. So, like, even people in my circles are following for like fake accounts that they run using his picture and his name, trying to talk like him to to respond to their own trolling efforts. It's just, they're the worst fucking people. They're entirely dedicated to this shit. Wings barely even mentions or notices them at all. And, yeah, I have a feeling that once I talk about them, once I do a proper stream and put it up on, on my YouTube channel and link to it and shit, uh, all of those people are going to throw massive fucking tantrums. It hasn't even happened yet. Like, I asked a couple questions, and it's one of the things that when Zoom was yelling at me on the Ralph retort, it was one of the things he brought up. Like, oh, you, you gate-kept Christian. You were white-knighting Christian, and now you're going to white-knight wings. And it's like, all I did was ask a couple questions. How the fuck do you even know about that? How do you know about that enough to be angry about it? So, no, this... I get the feeling that a lot of people are going to be really, 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 really fucking mad that I talked about it. And it's not even like, it's not even like, um, uh, like I think Wings is a good person. I don't. I think he's super entitled. I think the way he uses the word cyberbullying unironically is fucking infantile. Like, you're a grown ass man. You can't be fucking cyberbullied. I don't even think cyberbullying is a real thing. Like, unless you're a child who has to go to school, you can't be fucking cyberbullied. Like, you're twice the age past the threshold of, of being capable of being cyberbullied. And it's just like... I don't know. It's just real fucking sad to me. And what's, what's really sad is that a lot of the, the Wings content's really fucking good. I really like a lot of the, the music videos and stuff. They're really funny. I used, a, I used one of them. What started this off is that I used Plump Pimp as the intro song to the Chantal stream because I thought it was a really funny song. And um, I, I say, you know, big ups, Liquid Dick, and shout out Sean Ranklin after that. And I get, like, a bunch of comments from people saying, like, you shouldn't associate with Sean Ranklin and Liquid Richard because they're, they're creepy fucking weirdos. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, wh where does this come from? And then people start talking about this Discord server where they're all congregating and doing shady shit and actively conspiring to ruin Wings' life. The one that really got me is... Um, Wings of Redemption uses Streamlabs connected to his PayPal to collect donations for shit, right? And routinely, like every stream, multiple times every stream, the same exact people commit chargeback fraud by, you know, donating and then charging it back by lying to their payment processor or credit card company that they bought vacuum cleaner parts or something and then never got the parts. And the thing is, is that when you use PayPal to donate, it doxes you. Like, I, I accepted PayPal donations for a while. It gives you, like, the first, last names, cell phone number, email address, home address. It gives you everything a person has to the merchant. And they flagrantly are committing chargeback fraud with everything about them attached to these transactions. And it's like, well, number one, if I were Wings, I'd be reporting them to the fucking police for fraud. I would be making routine complaints 
to to the fucking authorities to get these people arrested. But number two, you know, is sometimes you say he'll read a comment that's a troll comment, a troll donation, and he'll be like, you know what? I bet that's like Robert or something. He'll say the first name of the person who routinely does chargebacks, and then Sean Ranklin will put out a video like the wings. <laughs> Dox is a donor. Like, nigga, you're fucking tempting this guy to dox you. And you fucking would deserve it if he did. I wouldn't hold it against him. I would have fucking doxed you a year ago at this point. But how, how do you fucking play the victim? And, like, you're, you're playing chicken with him and trying to get him to, to lash out at you so you can further ruin his fucking life by getting him banned from Twitch, too. Like, fuck off. All you people are are sick, manipulative fucking shit bags. I have I have no I have no empathy for them. I'm glad I cut this stream on after not sleeping for like twenty hours and just ranting aimlessly about what I'm gonna talk about with um with the next stream. Uh, let's see what people are saying in chat. I haven't even been looking at chat. I've just been staring at my fucking monitor filled with contempt. <laughs> Fun fact, the owners of Stream.me have repeatedly been in lawsuits for non-payment on their other websites, porn streamers. Oh, that's not a good sign. Except they're like the mythical detractors that DSP thinks are ruining his life, except real. DSP did have people who legitimized his complaints. And the thing is, uh, Neger pointed this out. After he dismantled Sons of Kojima, he, uh, Dark Side Phil ran out of things to complain about. Because before, with the Sons of Kojima and the organized trolling, they would be routinely doing things that Dark Side Phil could point out and be like, hey, you know, look, these guys, these trolls, the detractors, they're hurting my business because they're doing this shit, right? And then once that stopped happening, he couldn't do that anymore. And he couldn't say, like, hey, look at this. Here's the problem. Help me fix it. And he's been in very sharp decline since. So it's, it's, it's like a, a reverse Tinkerbell effect. Like, the more you try to troll somebody and hurt them, the more sympathetic people are going to be. Like, quote, Erot Demonstrandum, myself, the more, like, the fact that he's now the victim of actual financial crimes, that makes me think, wow, maybe he's not as shitty as all the people around him. Which isn't to say, again, that he's not, Wings himself is not shitty. It's just that... I don't think people should be the victims of crime because they, they stream on Twitch and throw controllers and shit. I just don't. I don't, I don't believe in swatting. I don't believe in, in uh, chargeback fraud. I don't believe in extorting retards out of their money for anime video games and shit. I think that's all bullshit. I think if you have to commit a crime to try and troll a locale, you should just be strung up by the fucking neck because you're subhuman. Ah. Uh. Oh, yeah. You found the stream, my secret stream? This is my secret stream. Don't be telling people about my secret stream. I'm just ranting like a fucking lunatic right now. Did you watch the PKA stream about with Jim about wings? I did watch um, only Jim's side of it. I watched his video. And I, I was never going to do a stream on wings because I thought Jim did a really good job going over the, the history of, of Wings of Redemption and his, his fall from grace. But now it's like I'm just going to cover, you know, the, the highlights. I'm going to give some background on why people troll him. But I, I mostly want to talk about how he's cultivated, like, a, a hate following that feels completely justified in doing whatever they want, regardless of, of if it's funny or if it gets a reaction or if it's legal. <clears throat> Bullies are real, Josh. Haven't you seen Bully Watch? I have seen Bully Watch. It reminds me a lot of Social Autopsy. A lot of people don't remember that base Candace Owens got famous because she tried to make a kiwi, an anti kiwi farm, a doxing site dedicated to doxing uh, internet bullies. Uh, by the way, Candace Owens is the only nigger I would fuck. She's really pretty for a black girl. I'm just going to throw that out there. In case Candace Owens is listening and likes racist white men, which I guess she does. I mean, she look at the people she associates with. Uh, DSP is one of the largest autism magnets on the net. He sure is. He is like pure. He's like the eye of the storm 
You think DSP's fucking autistic? Everybody around him's a hundred times worse. Hey, I'm slicker than your average nigger killer. Twist niggers heads off, fucking stink niggers and gayers, chicken winging players. All right, don't don't be don't be don't be calling me a, a fucking uh, a male mud shark or whatever the fuck. That's not how it'd be. I'm just saying I'd make an exception for Candace Owens. And that shit dick. <laughs> will there be a little cow whose rabbit hole will be so deep that it would hit the Earth's core? Probably. It's probably ongoing right now. It's just something that's so uh, closed door. Like the locale doesn't have any real public presence and the trolling group doesn't have any public presence. And it's probably been going on since fucking Usenet. We just haven't found it yet. Tommy Tudor would be as close as I can think of to that. Tommy Tudor has some fucking deep lore. Would I fuck Tracer if she was black? Oh, geez. It's a tough one. PKA was them telling Jim how they tried helping Wings, but all they did was fuck with them. I can believe that. Yeah, I don't believe those PKA guys are all fucking angels. I mean, the one thing that got me is uh, when, when basically, like, they copyright trolled him. I should mention that as well. Uh, Wings of Redemption essentially got into a... Like, with Dick Masterson and Maddox, they started the best podcast in the universe together. There was no formal agreements, but they started it together and formed an unofficial uh, partnership where they both owned half the company. Well, when it falls apart, Maddox tries to copyright the best podcast in the universe as its sole exclusive property. Dick Masterson uh, retaliates, and the judge says, no, you guys are a partnership because... Your presence was about 50-50 on the podcast. And I get the feeling that from what Wings mentioned, I'm glad you mentioned that because I should write it down as a footnote for when I prepare for my stream, um, that PKA formed with Wings of Redemption and I think a third person. So it should be a partnership where they each own a third of the company, but they vote Wings out. And uh, PKA goes on to make half a million dollars and they kick Wings out without giving him a penny. And then after they kick him out, the, the, the fucking guy goes and tries to file a copyright for, for PKA to, to be the sole owner of it. And the other guy, they, they asked to leave. They gave him $10,000 and they didn't give Wings shit. So, you know, Wings, Wings might be a fucking asshole and shit, but they, they trolled him in a way that is borderline criminal as far as I'm concerned. I, I, don't, I have no... I, I just... I don't like thieves. I don't like liars. I don't like thieves. I don't like extortionists. I don't like... I just don't... Like, you know, you can be an asshole just by talking shit about somebody, and that should be the extent of it. If you have to fucking commit crimes against somebody you've got you've got an agenda that isn't anything to do with having a good time hashtag kill all thieves hashtag kill the bankers more like it in minecraft wings made pk relevant yeah he was he was the biggest one at the time it was his it was basically his like call of duty podcast as far as i'm as far as i know Uh, more of a maxi pad man myself oh yeah speaking of that like i've been harassing the youtube support right uh, and I'll, I'll just read my emails with them uh, uh it doesn't have a receipt for my message but basically i'm just like hey you know i'm, I'm being uh copyright trolled the guy knows who i am he's doing this maliciously uh, I would really like to be able to stream again. The entire point of the strike was to uh, prohibit me from streaming. You know, I I'm going to take this guy to court if it requires it. So if you could please lift restrictions on my account, that'd be great. And uh, his response was, Hi, Joshua. I think this is a stock message. Thank you for your message. I hope this email finds you well. I understand you want to resolve the copyright strike on your channel. Please allow me to explain further. There are three ways to resolve the copyright strike. 
and it goes one, two, three, wait for it to expire, get a retraction, submit a counter notification. Now, this is obviously just like a, a stock email because this is the exact same information on the help page. And I'm, I'm clarifying already that I'm not asking for help on how to resolve it. I'm saying I'm asking for help to not have restrictions while it's being disputed because the intent of the copyright strike is to prohibit me from being able to stream. And it's a completely baseless fact. And I explained that. I said, I appreciate the reply, but as I mentioned, I've submitted a copyright, copyright strike appeal that hasn't even been reviewed yet after several days. And I should mention that even since, since sending this message in reply, um, my counter notification is still awaiting review. So they haven't even reviewed it yet. Um, my information is there. The person knows who I am. They are deliberately and maliciously misusing your systems to hurt my channel and remove my ability to stream. I will fight this person in court. Have invited him to service me at my address, but he has not done so. Please at least reinstate my ability to live stream. I have sworn under penalty of perjury multiple times. The alleged works are fairly used, and I will fight this person in court. He replies again, Thank you for your response. I hope you are well. You may contact the claimant directly to have this sorted out. Unfortunately, we cannot mediate for claim issues. If needed, you may seek legal assistance. Should you have additional questions, feel free to reply to this email. And I reply again saying, I'm not asking you for, to mediate anything. I would just like my privileges restored and not be placed at the mercy of a mentally ill person. This does not happen to larger channels, and I have not gotten a response to that since. Uh, I should also mention, I tweeted this out, and I'll take a screen cap of this so you can see what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, I got my response with Twitter as well, because after, after I appealed, uh, I, somehow my account became unlocked, but then I got this notification a day later saying... Uh, thanks for, and I got a notification saying an update on your report. Thanks for letting us know. Our investigation found this account violated the Twitter rules. Point violating our rules against hateful conduct. We appreciate your help in improving everyone's experience on Twitter. And the message I get is is like, it's as if I reported myself. So the appeal system, the appeal system acts as if I reported myself when I'm appealing a report. It's the most broken, busted-ass fucking thing I've ever seen. It's just complete garbage. It's a, it's a billion-dollar-a-year software suite for, for tweets and shit. But the report system is apparently joined at the hip with the appeal system in such a way that if you get an, an appeal response, it's like an, a review of a report or something. It's just... Utter fucking garbage. And uh, yeah, somebody mentioned get Keemstar involved. I've contacted Keemstar. I, I sent him a drama alert tip. He doesn't give a shit. Like, I'll show you what fucking Keemstar is up to. And really, you know, I try to be fair to Keemstar because in, the, in his latest appearances, at least, he's tolerable. He's kind of interesting on, um, on the Ralph retort, right? But we go to Firefox and we look at this. Wait, wait, where's Keemstar? We go to Keemstar, right? And it's just like he's talking about Deji. Deji messed up. Expose. Deji reacts to KSI and Deji videos. Hashtag drama alert. Poor Deji is getting destroyed on his new song, We Take No L's. Let's. I have a feeling many mentor ate Chinese food tonight. Thank you all so much on your support for the new drama alert. And it's just like... This is just like... Bullshit. And I hate his fucking beard. It's the grossest fucking thing ever. Look at this guy. What the fuck is that? What is that on your face? Why do you have that on your face? He doesn't care. He doesn't care about shit like this because it's not... You know, the whole thing with um, with him showing up on the Ralph retort, 
I kind of get the feeling that Keemstar hates his audience. I think, like, if you go to, like, Google and you type in, um, assume that wants to load, you type in Keemstar with fans, right? And it's just like, oh, that's one with his kid. Why, why would he take, this is why Shadman draws porn of her, bro. Take that shit off. And he's with, like, there's one of his fans that looks like a kid who has cancer. And then here's all of his other fans. They're all, like, 12. There's a bunch of his fans, and I think it's either his fans or it's, like, he's he's being attacked by a middle school. There's his other fans. None of these people look like they've hit puberty. I I just get the feeling that he really fucking hates... All of his fans, and I, I think he hates the fact that his fan base is a bunch of little fucking shitty kids. And he's really envious of the fact that Ralph has like a majority adult audience. And he, he enjoys that more than what he built for himself, which is why he read Rogue Observer. But as far as like actually sticking his neck out for freedom of speech and shit, no, nah, I don't think that'll ever fucking happen. He doesn't give a shit. And, uh,. Fuck, what the fuck is his title? I'll never think of it now because he's so irrelevant. This guy, um, he's been trying to get involved in internet drama and shit because he he wrote an expose on Ralph, really hard-hitting stuff. Oh, he fucking... Did he delete all his shit? Oh, hold up. He, like, there's fucking random bullshit with Twitter. God, I hate fucking Twitter. Twitter's such a piece of shit. (laughs) Did he delete it? Oh, no fucking way. I had, um... It looks like he deleted it. He Instead of that pin tweet that he has on that I'm looking at on Firefox right now, he had a picture of him with Keemstar. And he looks so fat and fucking dumpy. That's funny that he deleted that. Because <laughs> this guy lives in uh, Brooklyn or, or something. And uh, Keemstar lives in uh, Erie County. He lives in Buffalo. So, I mean, they're they're pretty far apart in terms of, like, state lines, but they're nearby. Yeah, this guy's a fucking loser. Massive fucking loser. He's so awful. I want to show, I want to show you... Like, like, like this video has like no views because it's shit. Oh Jesus, got two thousand views. That's really good for him. Listen to how this fucking faggot talks. Oh, you can't hear. Why do you have to resort to using doctored fake evidence to prove your point? I was sent a paste bin on screen and a few screenshots. Two weeks ago, in the very beginning of December. So you sat there and looked at this information for that long and thought you should still post it? I mean, honestly, I did what any smart person would have done who was making a video. You know, my voice is not the best, but doesn't this just make you want to fucking shoot yourself in the back of your head? You know, if you take a gun, right, and you put it in your mouth, and you aim it at the top of your spine, where your spine connects to your brain. If you shoot that part of your brain, it's like lights out. Just just lights out. That's like the control center. That's like the very the most fundamental part of the central nervous system. You pop that, it's it's like a light bulb going out. In case um in case you you're inspired. You want Ethan Ralph at the time. Inspired I to looked at them kill and said yourself. Who the fuck cares about Sargon's Patreon? This stuff looks shady as shit. It's not easy to miss. It's the most... That's how... When Hitler killed himself, he consulted a doctor. And the doctor suggested taking cyanide and then doing exactly what I told you. So, if you don't trust me, trust Hitler. That's the best way. I mean, the cyanide is just a backup in case you do miss. But, I mean, the the fucking bullet is assuring. Definitely will fucking kill you. Look at Kraut's comment below. 
Oh, so this is what a doxing server looks like? No. No. This. This is what a doxing server looks like, Kraut. You know what? This whole thing about, oh, he's a doxer. He's a doxer. Ralph docks this guy. And then this guy docks this guy. And it's just, it's the gayest shit ever. You know what? You know what? You know what I think about doxing? I think there's literally nothing wrong with doxing. I think everybody should just say that. They should just say there's literally nothing wrong with doxing. In fact, I have I I have what is what is supposed to be the the phone number of Nicholas De Oreo. Now I've, I'm hesitant to call it call it because it may be also his parents' number, and I don't want to bother his family. But if I knew for sure it was his cell phone number or something, I would 100% call it. I just don't want to bother some old folks. It becomes an issue when I worry about have to say because I might lose my job. I guess, but that's already how it is. Like you think that you think that there's not an issue where you might lose your job because of what you say. You can always get docs. It could always be traced back to you. The government knows who you fucking are. That shit can leak. Like, you think that just because you're anonymous right now, that nobody cares enough to identify you, that that what you say is is anonymous and it's never gonna hurt you ever. If you ever piss off the wrong people, you ever get too much attention, it'll fucking find you. It's like with um, don't ever remember Ricky Vaughn. Ricky Vaughn was a very popular Trump supporter who made race realist comments on Twitter. He had more he had a more active following than major publications. Like his tweets got more attention than like tweets from the Wall Street Journal and shit and CNN. He completely trumped traditional media just by being a shit poster on Twitter. And he got doxxed and he lost everything. I mean it wasn't a matter of if it would happen. It's a matter of when of course you do. Of course you have to worry about being docs, but it's like you can't stop it. <laughs> even if it was illegal. Even if it was illegal in the United States. You know what would happen with the Kiwi Farms? It would be kiwifarms.ru or something. It would be in a different country and it would still fucking exist. The only person who can stop you from getting docs is yourself. And the more you're out there, the more popular your message is, the more unified your identity is, the more likely you are to get docs. Nobody thought Jim would get docs, but it happens. It'll always happen. Nothing you can do about it. They even know who, uh, the Department of Defense even knows who Satoshi, uh, Satoshi is, the Bitcoin guy. And the reason why they know who he is is because they took, uh, er, in the early days of Bitcoin, he was a very prolific writer. And he had some interesting word choices. And the Department of Defense took all of his messages, all of his posts, all of his signed messages that they knew were by him, and they fed it into machine learning against a database of different writing signatures called linguistic forensics, where machine learning tools uh, build, up, build up composition signatures on word choices and grammar styles and punctuation and shit. And they were they they believe they know who Satoshi is just because they know who everybody is just on how they write. There are even tools dedicated to anonymizing writing styles by reducing word choice and selecting things from a, a simple English pill and eliminating punctuation as well. Josh boxed, botch Jim's docs. Jim has said absolutely nothing that would contradict what he said originally that the docs is real. The docs is fake. I love it. I love it. People are so, so desperate. Please, da Daddy Jim. Daddy Jim can't be docs. He's he's so perfect and so funny and everything he does is so great all the time. His docs can't be can't be real because that would clash with my masturbatory image of what he is. It's a gay shit. Get the fuck over it. He's a guy. He's a he's a white supremacist who fucks Asian women. <laughs> like, like he's not special. He's got a nice voice. He can be really funny. He's pretty sharp on his feet, but he's not a god. Stop sucking his dick. 
Jealous boy. Oh, jeez. I'm jealous of how much money he makes. Could go for some fucking money. I don't care who you like better. I really don't. You're afraid to have opinions. I'm just telling you to stop sucking dick because it looks fucking pathetic to have his jizz on your fucking chin. Fear monger. Black pill, baby. It's all coming down. <laughs> he can't be a white supremacist. He's not even white. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh. Uh. White supremacists are bad. I'm just saying that it's hypocritical. Uh, what's funny to me is that all the people in this kind of sphere, you got Jim, you got Ralph, they're either fucking somebody who's not white or they're not white themselves. Like, I think, who's, is, is, it, is it Nick Fuentes or Mark Collett that's, like, Mexican or something? It's... It's just like every everything's fucking hypocritical. There's no point in even getting mad about it. Just live and let live. Kumite dead air. Like I'm tired. I'm just reading chat. Nice voice change. I sat up straight. Uh, Ralph only does it because the money is in it for him. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't have strong opinions about Ralph in terms of Ralph's motives. F Fuentes had a nigger girlfriend. Isn't his sister a mud shark or something? Hey, I don't know Colette or Fuentes too much. I've only heard things. Like I don't give a shit. Give us an entertaining story. I don't think I have anything off the top of my head right now. Is he really five foot two? I've seen pictures that make him look really fucking short. Tell us about your involvement with Infinity Next. I think I've told this story a thousand times at this point. Well, if you have a specific question, I can I can say it. What's going on with the stream of Hot Wheels is going to be about? Uh, I'll save it for the Ralph Retort stream. I don't want to scoop him. But basically, I mean, he's already said a lot. I'll, I'll pull it up if you want me to read this. Because he's tweeted this, and I suppose there's no harm in uh, just reading it some more. Okay. Nine hours ago, welcome to all my new followers. Please absorb these facts. Number one, I have absolutely no say in 8chan's administration. I do not have the password for the Infinite Chan account and never post on it. Two, I gave away 8chan voluntarily. It was not stolen. Three, Josh Moon did nothing wrong. Uh, Follow-up post. Although I gave away 8chan voluntarily, it was never a fair fight. I was set up to fail. After my departure, four people were hired to replace me. Two PR people, one of whom can pose from the Code Monkey uh, trip. And by Code Monkey trip, he means the uh, administrator cap code on, on 8chan. One programmer, and finally the part time Code Monkey himself. Follow up. During my administration with the company, during my administration, the company always claimed poverty. We had to crowdfund urgently needed software, referring to Next. After I left, suddenly could afford salaries for an unprofitable, web, unprofitable website. I gave HN away voluntarily, but I had the support CodeMonkeyZ has perhaps I wouldn't have. And finally, if you want to understand how HN stays online, here's the answer. HN is a yacht. It's not about profit. Jim is a very rich man, or at least he lives the lifestyle of one. It is about power, not money. He and his son enjoy it, so they keep it no matter the cost, like a boat. So uh, we we caught up a little bit on either Friday or Saturday. I can't remember. My 
I've been up for so long, I'm kind of in a haze. But essentially, the uh, he's gonna he's gonna be clarifying the situation that Eight Chan is in, and without giving away too much, because uh, I, w I would like him to to say it himself on Ralph's stream. Uh, Eight Chan is completely fucked. If things go the way that he is prognosticating that they will go, 8chan is completely and totally fucked. Uh, but uh, I don't want to say too much more on that. Take a nap. I found my secret stream. Oh gosh, I'm exposed. 16 hour nap. That sounds great. <clears throat> Fucked as in it might go away within the next, within 2019. It might be gone. Well, yeah. My vision for 8chan, because 4chan is its own thing. You can't beat 4chan in its own game. But I noticed that we had a huge user base of Brazilian and Polish and Finnish and and Egyptian users. And I thought, that's the ticket. That's the ticket to make 8chan better than 4chan, to make it something that 4chan couldn't be. And I, was, I wanted to internationalize it. I, I, I built Next with a strong emphasis on localization. I even, even after the, the official development stopped, I had a functional right-to-left layout for Hebrew and Arabic and uh, Farsi. Like, I had it all. I had it all planned out in my head how I wanted to expand 8chan. And, and make it a place where people connect through tour to talk about their government in private. And I, I, had, a, I had what I thought was a great, a great vision for it. And ultimately it didn't come to fruition. But I thought that would, that would have fixed, that would have been great. No joke, I might be moving to Egypt soon. Any advice on how to use the internet there? Get a VPN. Yeah, 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 Hebrew, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Maybe maybe they're the, the oppressed Palestinians who are trying to overthrow the Israeli government. You don't know. Winning non-whites on. The white market's already very firmly controlled by, by 4chan proper. You're not going to... You're not going to dissuade that. Globalize the means. Right to left chance. <laughs> Palestinians are not oppressed. 4chan's fucking super white. Kick Coach Red Pill. Oh, jeez. I was going to go to... Um, to to Berlin with him in January to make use of a YouTube space and be an asshole. In, in YouTube corporate property. But now it's like, I don't know, that last stream where I had him on, like it was such an awkward conversation. Like I couldn't tell if he was doing it on purpose. I, like I, I was having, I just wanted to do a 15 minute long stream where I talk about um, the, the, co the strike I got, the community guideline strike I got. And he's like, hey, let me on, let me on. Uh, I want to talk. And I'm like, oh, okay, so Coach Redpill must have some insight because he's a much larger channel with like 100,000 subs. I'm like, he has to have some kind of insight on on the copyright guideline system and how how these things happen. And I'm like, sure, okay, I'll let him on, and we'll talk about that. And I, I accept the invite, get Google Hangout set up. And the first thing he says is like, hey, how's it going? What's up? I'm like, I thought you were watching the stream. I thought you wanted to talk about the copyright stuff. And he just wanted to, like, shoot the shit. And it's like, bro, this is supposed to be, like, a 30-minute long stream where I just go over the, uh, the, uh, the, the situation. It's supposed to be, like, a situation report. And I thought you had something you wanted to say on it. And, like, if you don't interrupt him and assert yourself, he will talk forever. And I get not wanting to have dead dead air, but there's also like ebbs and flows of conversation where you just run out of things to say. But if he runs out of something to say, he'll just switch to the next topic. 
like immediately without giving you like a chance to respond or even inquiring as if you he gives a shit about what you have to say in response to that it's it's truly baffling i think he's lonely for bros uh i wouldn't go that far I mean, maybe. It is pretty isolating over here. But the thing is with me, I'm extremely used to being isolated. It doesn't bother me at all. It does not bother me at all. Hello, Esper. It is going well. I don't have to be an incel. Lower your standards. Go to a conservative church with large congregations. There's nothing wrong with waiting until marriage. That's true. Uh, I remember, like, I didn't have sex until I was, like, 22 or something. And when I was a teenager, I was very frustrated about it. And I, I thought, like, if I just had sex, like, that would fix a lot of the things I was angry about. And then I finally just got it out, right? I met somebody I was friendly enough with, and we drank, and we had sex. And we had sex a couple of times, actually. But nothing changed. Like, I wasn't angry about that, but I was still pretty fucking angry. 22? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I, I didn't... I was, I was like, homeschooled and shit. I didn't go to any, any clubs. I didn't want to, like, fuck in a bar or something. She wasn't fat enough. <laughs> I'm not an incel. I mean, I've had, a, I've had a couple flings. It's just that I've never had sex with somebody I was in love with, you know? And I think that's a different thing. Angry about being circumcised, it's true. I, I don't want to get, I want to do too much TMI. But um, I, I get the feeling that me being circumcised is a detriment to my ability to enjoy sex. I'll just leave it there. Because I don't want to talk about my dick. I think people would fucking leave. Josh, what was his name? <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, jeez, I'm getting cyberbullied. You guys are such, so mean. What was the feeling of being a wizard? I'm not even 30 yet. You have to be 30 to be a wizard. M my penis is nice, all right. My boy first boyfriend was circumcised and the sex was shit. Oh, no! Wizard Apprentice? Uh, dude, at 22, 22 is not even like... I think most people in the West have sex later now. Like, maybe in fucking, like, Nigeria, people lose their virginity at, like, 14. But in the West, people are... People are not having sex as much. Because everybody's socially awkward and autistic and playing video games. What's your opinion on Eggy? I don't know who Eggy is. Josh's outline is Florida. <laughs> hey, I yeah, I can't I have to be careful with my penis because Brian Dunn will fucking get it and print it out and hang copies of it on his wall. No, I don't know who Eggie is. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> Somebody is named Virgo Rouge Trans in chat. So I, I guess I have no option. Uh, if you don't know, Virgo Rouge is my wife. And Virgo Rouge quit the internet because I cyber bullied her off the internet, right? But she's back, baby. She is back. And she's posting crazy shit. This is one hour ago. Let's, this is four minutes. Let's watch this. Well, I know there's a lot of people that are more interested in uh, talking about computers than there are people interested in music or culture. I'm not over there. It's Freja, Evie, Bonchos. I'm not there talking to you. Now, this is my channel. I've been using this for years. I used to have music on this channel. 
and I use it all the time to browse and to talk to people. But um, with this situation of somebody my future ex-wife, se fraîche et bon chance. It is somebody else, somebody who hacked into my computer and set up a, a fraudulent duplicate channel. A YouTube, by the way, purposely, most likely, blocked me from purposefully. getting into that channel. Because I know my password, and I also have, uh, you can recover it by giving the phone number that you had on the account. I mean, they are rejecting both of them. So they purposely locked me out. And yeah, I mean, hackers, people that are computer illiterate, do not know about hacking. A, a, an expert hacker can crack through anything, virtually anything, and see what you're doing. And they can see where you're going. And if it was a YouTube employee, they could possibly see what I'm doing. I, uh, all, I use Orbit Mod all the time to browse YouTube. So anybody who's an expert hacker could have seen that I was using Orbit Mod. And no, it wasn't because it was in my browser. That's not why I remove the videos. I remove videos all the time for different reasons. And people think... Would I crack I, her? Uh, no, I would not. Uh, these videos of because I'm feeling incriminated or something like that. That's not true. I don't even know because I don't read what you're, what you're posting, but I assume that's what you're probably writing, that I am Orbit Mod and making up stories that it was in my browser. Yeah, I saw that it was in my browser. I thought, oh my gosh, people are going to think it's me, but it wasn't me. I know She's like legit that. fucking crazy. Uh, it's very easy for an expert hacker to take over a person's identity would I feed her? on the internet. I would feed her the raw beef liver get, sheets. Fortunately, get into your bank account. Expert hackers can crack anything. And you're computer illiterate. And basically, yeah, find that. anybody that could see where I am, what I'm doing, they can see that I'm using Orbit Mod to browse YouTube. All of a sudden, they have... Uh, their fake account and they go and write something on my channel and that's exactly what happened They purposely locked me out of my YouTube channel And you're saying don't you remember your password they purse pur This is uh, this is this is what she eats. This is what I'd have to feed her if I wanted to plump her up Hello more than superficial uh, films that look wonderful on the outside, but on the inside people are unhealthy. I am very healthy. I'm eating raw pastured beef liver from a farm. It's been frozen for two weeks. I don't know if it actually kills pathogens. Um, there are people in this country who are uh, pretty normal. One guy who's a martial artist from Wisconsin eats raw liver. He's not on the internet talking about killing people like this guy in Germany, okay? So there are normal people who eat raw liver. Tracy eats raw liver. I eat it more than she does, though. My father is eating it twice a week. I eat uh, it. Um, weird flex, but okay. Right now I need to eat this. It's only a small amount, completely raw. I just downed an egg yolk, and this is the egg white. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for later because uh, the allicin in it uh, binds with biotin, so I eat the raw egg whites separately. I have a few coconuts here, young Thai coconuts. Um, That's basically just her showing kale, all the shit she eats and trying I to be have. like, I'm better than you because I eat beef liver tips. Uh, let's see, four minutes. Here we go. I think this is a funny one. Them ...in their entirety, unless you give me some money through PayPal because you've been taking advantage of me. Um, and stealing my things, actually, and you're not going to be able to steal anymore from me, okay? I don't think that musicians should have the, their things stolen, okay? So that's it, and uh, I'm doing really well today, and I have to go out, and I'm trying to get some good lighting in here in the kitchen. I don't really know if it's any good, but... How about uh, letting the sun like shine on your fucking day, face instead out. of eclipsing it like a goddamn moon? I'm almost 100% raw, 95 to 100% raw. She likes it I'm raw, guys. Raw sirloin, raw, raw fish. 
uh, raw eggs, raw beef liver, tons of raw vegetables, hemp hearts, chia seed, some fruit, very low carbs. It makes me feel good, but it's not the end all of the life. Uh, I just think up here is a positive attitude and friendship and love and these things. Peace. Okay, so um, I'm not here to try to look good for you because I'm in the real world and the only thing I care about is people that I see in the real world. She looks... Uh, you stuff. know, it's... Uh, this is like a movie thing where if you... You get you have like a close up with a face, right? Like you're you're watching a movie and the camera gets really close to the face, and that's supposed to be like you're supposed to empathize more with the character. It's just a brain thing. If you're really close to somebody's face, you empathize with them more. But if we have an extreme close up like this and it lingers, it makes you uncomfortable because they're now in your space, and she is inadvertently because she's a fucking crazy person. Filming herself in a cinematic way to make you uncomfortable because she's up in your fucking face and invading your space. I'm just pointing that out. I'm That's me spurging about cameras and I've shit. I've led a really moral life, <laughs> and they're cl claiming that I'm immoral and that I'm sleeping around and that I have, uh, they edit my words and make it sound like I've done porno. You don't have any proof. Okay? It's just fake. I never admitted to anything like that. You're fake. Fake as anything could be. So, the fact that you can't put your face online is another reason that nobody should trust you. Bye-bye. There's... Them oh, what the fuck? Entirety. Hold up. Hold up. In their I saw Bye -bye. something. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, God damn it. I need the, like the title card. It's on the title card. Okay, look. I will show you. I'm not crazy. Maybe I am crazy, but you will see. You will see. I'll make you see. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Look. Look here and listen. Enhance. Enhance the picture. Do you see it? You see it? I can't help but see it. It is blinding to me. Look, it's right fucking there. I can't, I can't not see it. It's just so obvious to me. Is it not uncanny? It's, it's, it's fucking, it's the exact goddamn thing. It's like I'm, I'm seeing hamsters in my, my sleep delirium. Oh, jeez. Oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I did the hamsters, like, one time, just at the end, because I was playing, like, Cotton Eye Joe or something. I was like, fuck it, I'll play the hamsters, because the hamsters are cute. And now, and then, like, the next time I played music, somebody's like, you gotta play the fucking hamsters. Where the fuck the hamsters at? Now, now it's just, like, it's just, like, a thing. It's, like, it's better that way, because it's not, like, forest. It's people, people like the fucking hamsters. You gotta give people what they want. Oh, God. Shut up. What's this? this is another minute long video. Usually her, usually her videos are like 25 fucking minutes long. Now they're like a minute and a half. Well, um, I did take it down some videos that were defaming online. I'm sure some of the other ones will be removed. But I'm not giving my legal married name. And for that reason is my husband is very concerned about his reputation with his job and his reputation. And the reason okay, I so here's the thing. She always says that she's married, but there's no evidence whatsoever that she is married. Nothing. It's not like you can hear a male voice off in some of her videos. There's not a single fucking thing, but she continually talks about being married. And I'm curious what you guys... I'll make a poll for this, actually. I'm going to make a poll. I'm making a poll. We're making a poll. Who is the husband? Uh, literally no one. 
or the man of her dreams, or as a stunner and my personal favorite, a... But... But given... Okay, and to clarify for the third option, I'm saying that uh, it it's her father, but she wants to put on a front, so she just claims it's her husband. Like she, I'm not saying that they're they're married or having a sexual relationship. I'm saying that she passes whenever her dad yells at her and says, "You got to get off the internet because people are fucking with you," and I'm afraid of getting you know my job fucked with. She just it says it's my it's my husband instead of just saying my dad. So it's, I'm not saying that they're married or anything, but that's my that's my personal speculation, and I think that's going to tilt the polls in favor of it. But uh, oh geez, the, the votes are coming in. They're actually all kind of tied. That's surprising. Oh, literally, no one has always been in the been in the lead, but now her father is is. They're neck and neck. They're neck and neck. Oh, God, it's too tense. It's too intense. Every time one takes the lead, the other usurps it. It's madness. It's madness. A hundred votes are coming in. This is only a minute-long poll, so we'll see. Oh, jeez. I think it's going to be literally no one, though. I think that's where it's leaning. I'm I'm clicking the refresh button as hard as I can. This is too it's too close. <laughs> Literally no one beats out her father by one vote. Fucking amazing. That that was a much closer poll than I was expecting. All options are Josh. <laughs> uh the poll is on uh is on the web app. Hopefully you can see it. If you can't, uh, literally no one wins by a single vote. So keep in mind that as far as chat's concerned, literally no one is, is telling her this. A maiden name and not my married name. He doesn't want anyone to know who he is in terms of online and uh, offline. Everybody knows who he is, but he doesn't want anyone to know that he's married to me. And the whole thing, I'm using my old name, basically. <laughs> so that's about it. I, I told you what the, the deal was. I don't owe you any explanations. I'm just letting you know that you're a delusional people. I'm trying to protect my husband. And I don't owe anybody anything on YouTube. They owe me. Because I've been giving you free quality music. I've done nothing wrong. I have done absolutely nothing to deserve being gang stalked. I'm not oh, she uses the word gang stop, like unironically. I'm also not giving That's you great. my married name because I want to protect my husband and his job. Thank you. Oh, Cal's watching this stream. I love Cal. Time. That's the only good thread in, on 8chan is the Cal thread about the streaming live. Sorry, I'm fucking tired. The, uh... What is, this? is it just called Internet Blood Sports General? Is that the name of it? You don't usually look at the OP because it's a cyclical. Yeah, the IBS General. They're they're bullying me. They're saying that I'm still a virgin. I'm I'm ah, I'm so triggered. Oh, okay. This one sounds funny. <laughs> it sounds so entitled. Just the the fucking actual title of it. Hi, I have news for you. I'm a professional level musician. Oh, jeez. Pretty high level, okay? Uh, especially in the creative world. Um, I don't read comments. I don't talk to people online. So anyone that you see is a poser and it's defamation. I don't check to see who's talking about me online. I don't check to do anything because I don't have time to fill out papers. I don't care about it. The only thing I'm checking online right now is my PayPal account. <laughs> my email address underneath all you need is a PayPal account and my email address and you can send me donations and money. <laughs> and if you really want me to send you new DVDs and new music, you can, I can send it to your mailing address with your real name. 
That's funny. And it has to be a good amount of money. So I don't have to, like, what? What, what is my purpose of communicating? I'm not communicating with anybody online. I'm not reading messages anymore. Okay, past today. Okay, so there's new videos. You want me to look at this again, right? I'm not doing it. More defamation. How many videos do you have that are defamation on here? How many videos? I didn't do anything. Just like Melinda Scott, uh, this woman that they're harassing on Kiwi Farms. She didn't do anything, and they accused her of being a slut, and they said that she had nine husbands. This woman didn't do anything. And I'm not coming online anymore because there's too many people that have mental illness online. There's nobody here supportive of me. All these people making believe that they like me are aliases. Uh, this Cartelette, whoever she's this She's like person always is throwing Cartelet, a pity party for Jacques herself. Like, feel names. sorry for me. These None of these people actually these like me. Send money to my PayPal channels. account. I am not calling myself a genius. I'm not music expert. I'm not there talking to you. I don't have a website Virgo Rouge anymore. I'm not, I don't have a website. So if you want to basically send me some money, you can. I'm not here for you to, how many, how many videos do you have? This is a fake video. I never said I did pornography. I'm married. That's not my name. So I'm not making music videos anymore for you. I don't care about any of these videos. I'm also not on YouTube, especially YouTube, which allows defamation. Other platforms are decent platforms where they don't allow this kind of garbage. I know this for a fact. Yeah, sorry. They, It'll be a they fuck have up. guidelines. YouTube does not have any guidelines. They allow people to be harassed. They steal content. Do you think I would upload anything to something like this where they allow people to stalk people online? They allow slander, harassment, and defamation. And I haven't filled out any forms for this. I don't have any time. I'm working. I have a job. Uh, Kiwi Farms, the owner, doesn't work. I have jobs. Oh, I have to work. Out. I don't have time for this. I don't have time to, to, uh, <laughs> to fill out papers. You don't work a job. You just have some software. You, don't, you have all the time in your hands to stalk people all day long. I don't. And right now, I'm uh, basically, I have to get back to work. And um, whatever this is, I don't really care because I have to work. I know you don't have a job. Joshua Connor Moon doesn't work. He's unemployed and stalking people online. But I don't have time for this. So if you want to hear my new music, I'm going to leave my email address underneath this video. And I'm not giving oh, yeah, attention to this. for money again. I never said I did porno. <laughs> I said I didn't. You edited my words. All of this is fake. You, were, you used Adobe Creative Cloud. Send me some money if you want to hear my music. I'm bypassing these people. Because I'm promoting, I'm really, really working on some great music right now. And I'm really doing some serious studio work that is amazing, is much better than a lot of the live stuff because I just use too much reverb. I don't have a really good amp. So if you really want to hear some great music, because um, I think it's great, um, and I'm also she thinks not it's this great. Person. Her mom says it's so great. This is a, um, a person <laughs> that it, if I'm going to be praising myself, it's going to be on this channel. It's not going to be uh, me me with these sock pu puppets. It's not me. So I'm not reading your, your messages. I'm not talking to you. I'm not. I'm too busy. I work a job. I'm too oh, busy. It's not, it's not literally Sargon. Not I think when Cal, the anonymous, is replaced with Sargon. Like, the default the username is just Sargon. Next. I don't care. So I, I like to let you know I'm on PayPal for anyone who's a music fan, a real diehard music fan, who wants some more DVDs, who wants some more live DV, DVD, blah, DVDs. <laughs> I keep stumbling upon my words. Um, please contact me and send me some money and you'll get some more music because I'm cranking out music right now, but I'm not putting it online. And I've been really, really working hard on studio work and I don't have time to work to <laughs> She's been working to hard. Unemployed bimbos online. <laughs> unemployed derelicts who have all the time in the world to make videos about people. I don't have time for this. I'm a serious musician and I want to spend my time doing music, not filling out papers. I could care less about you. I want you to know for anyone who really loves music to please come online here and uh, send me some money. And I'll send you all the music you want. New music. Okay? So you don't have all my new music because I'm making a lot of new recordings. Well, it's super videos. secret you new them, music. You, you gotta, to you gotta fork up, boy. There's a... <laughs>
<laughs> Speaking of, in this thread, there was fucking, um, like, Jewish ASMR. I'm going to play that if I can find it. That shit was fantastic. We're going to listen to some Jewish ASMR if I can find that shit. Oh, God, this thread gets so many fucking posts. Ooh, there it is. Perfect. Thank you for posting this, because it's some good shit. Shut up. I, oh, you know what? I'm just going to switch it over to Media Player. That'll, that'll work it. All right, we're going to get really quiet, because we got some ASMR. Shalom, Goy. Welcome to my second kosher ASMR. My first one was free, but this one is going to cost you. So hand over those dollars. Ah, it sounds so good. Thank you, Gentile. You like that stink of it? That one was just for you. Sorry, I really like that that clip. The guy has like a series of them, and they're all really, really fucking funny. Oh yeah, somebody even predicted that Jewish ASMR would be just rubbing money together, and it's <laughs> he literally does just that. And it's actually a pretty nice sound, to be to be honest with you. Oh jeez. Why is Josh familiar with ASMR series? Because, because it is, uh, some ASMR is good. I'm going to catch flack for saying that, but I'm going to say it. Some of it's really relaxing. If you're a massive spastic like me, I don't know. What I don't like is, um, <clears throat> I don't like it when people talk. Like, shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear you talk. Just touch stuff. Make noise. I don't want to. I don't want to hear your fucking hear you fucking talk. I can like close this so I don't have to see the thing about being a troll. I'm not a troll. Josh fears Intel. Intel loves me. Don't even try. I had. I okay. After after next was over, uh, I legit had a cult of people from the international board who who followed me for literally years. I wonder what happened to them. Josh is a troll. I'm not a troll. I'm a nice guy. A nice goy. <laughs> Let's see. Is there anything? How long have I been streaming? I, I just booted this up out of complete fucking boredom. And I guess it was a good time to, to stream. People people tuned in. I didn't advertise it literally anywhere, but 250 people are watching. That's usually a bit more than when I get on stream.me. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> Until is a free, or is a herd free from rule cuckery. There was, um, at one point, Intel, after HN got really shitty, they made their own image board called Freech. It's like in Free Chan or Free Speech, but it was called Freech. And they they were so vehement about not deleting any posts unless it was like child pornography or Animal Crush that they didn't even delete spam. And there was a Viagra spam bot that flooded the board. And they uh they like worshipped it because because they saw the Viagra spam bot as like a beacon of free speech. They were very strange. I, I, I kept tabs on them because they were interesting.
<laughs> Josh lost his virginity to a black tranny at the age of 22. Was her name Candace Owens? Is that what you're getting at? Get Jim on? Here, let me get my, my fucking my magic stick, my cauldron, my spices. Or I can just get a baked potato, whatever works. <clears throat> ASMR has basically become porn. Yeah, it has. Like, there's some really crazy shit that happens on a, in ASMR. <laughs> does, does anyone have, like, a really funny one? I know there's, like, like really crazy, like, black people ASMR videos where uh, they're just being retarded. Josh will always lose. When will you transition, Josh? Why would I transition... I'm I'm perfect just the way God made me. Ooh, what's this a link to? This better be crazy black people ASMR. Oh, this fucking thing. Oh god, I love this. This is I looked for years to find this video. This is one of the funniest fucking videos ever ever recorded. Ever recorded. <coughs> Dare you? Oh, you may. You're a disgrace. You suck. How dare you? I'm a three blocks down. Who the hell do you think you are? Who the hell do you think you are? You any kind of honest? Anybody know who you are? Maybe everybody else wants to enjoy the peace and quiet. Look at how high it's up his pants are. He has like no torso. Who are you? You miserable, presumptuous, no talent. You're no artist. An artist respects the silence. It serves as the foundation of creativity. You obviously don't have the talent. You don't have enough respect for yourself or other people or what it is to express yourself. In music, or any other form of creativity. And I'm an NYU film school graduate. Sucker! <laughs> and the School of Visual Arts! And the Academy of Art University in San Francisco! You suck! You are no talent! If you really had talent, go practice! And then get yourself a gig! Instead of ruining the end of the day for everybody down here! You disgrace! You are everything that's gone wrong in this world! You are so consumed, no talent, mediocre piece of shit! And I've earned my right to say it! Okay? I had 200,000 people with Bill Graham. In 1975, I walked Shit. Bob Dylan up on stage. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? I knew the Grateful Dead from 1966. Who the fuck are you? You nothing. You nothing. You are nothing. And you will never be anything. Never. How dare you? How dare you? You miserable, mediocre, nothing. <laughs> so mad? Shame on you. There's still you 30 rats, more seconds of this smile, shit. You little pip. Go work to play. Go work to play. You're flat. You can't even carry a fucking note. 
I don't care about your little white horn lip. It doesn't mean that you know how to play. You're flat. I'm trained classically. I'm trained contemporaneously. All and right, you enough. suck. Go away. Leave no. 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 He went on and on without any any like input or stimulation. He just. <laughs> I expected that to be a little bit longer, but what the fuck ever, that works. Oh jeez. Oh, link to the video. Okay, I will post the link to the video in the thing in the chat. Yeah, suck. Here. What's this link from HM? I don't trust that. I don't trust any link from HM. Let me pull this up. Oh. I do look like Carol the Wolf. That's scary. Gaze long into the abyss. I'm not muted. I was just, I was just confl No, I'm not showing it. Fuck off. You can go find it if you want. The guy keeps spamming it in chat. Just pull it up. ASMR <laughs> <a> suicide watch. <laughs> there's, a, there's a really. Whoops, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to mute you. Oh god, I tried to click the link and then I fucking muted you on accident. I've unmuted you. Oh god. The fucking thing, the, when you click somebody's name, the thing scrolls up. And the chat was moving so fast, I accidentally fucking banned you. <laughs> what, um... I put dark theme on YouTube. I'm not a basement dweller. I can stand the light theme. What, uh... I find it like worst ASMR. No, it's like a. There's one where it's like a crazy black woman. Can I like Google that? Crazy black woman ASMR. Is that it? I think this is it actually. Oh, I want to mute this. This looks semi right. This doesn't look like what I. Oh, God, no, this is actually it. No, it's not. The other one was like way worse. Wait, no. There's like a warning for this video. This is like a black. Why am I always watching videos of people eating and cooking? What the fuck? I didn't. Oh. Sorry, that's nauseating. <laughs> I can't listen to that shit. Oh, this is a playlist. Black woman ASMR. Oh, jeez. Now, these are like actual people putting in effort. I want like a crazy black woman. It's just, it's a specific one I have in mind, but it's probably buried by the search algorithm because it's awful. Show Kiro nudes on stream? No. <clears throat> They're out there, though. They are definitely out there if you want to find them. Peter Josh at it again. Rest in peace. First date with a black woman roleplay? I did not see that. What's this? <laughs> I'm not going to listen to this, but I'll probably just like skip halfway into it. Buy buy neural sargon of the cod weight loss ASMR. I only need things that are healthy. The universe blesses me. I lose weight so that I can. This is an 
fucking ASMR. Oh, it's ASMR hypnosis. Okay, I see. Chris would listen to ASMR videos to try and grow a vagina. True story. The septic tank diver. I'm pretty sure. I think. I think people. I know what you're. What this is already. It's uh. It's still on YouTube. I'm. Yeah. Yeah. The uh. The original title of this video is. Um. An Ubisoft fan has fun. I think. Oh, did they take it down? I think they did. Yeah, they must have, because that was definitely the name of the video. I'll just show it to people. I, I, I'm not 100% sure that this is actually real. Oh, a Bioware fan has fun. You're right. It's actually real? There's no way this is real. You would die. You would get like an infection and die. Sniff. <laughs> oh, full screen it? I'm gonna full okay, let's look at the last minute in full screen. Shit rat. It's good for the skin. <laughs> Quite pugnant. He lost his goggles. Oh, that's awful. He was definitely getting pink eye. That's all I gotta say about that. I think he was getting pink eye. Not the fun kind like in South Park. Like the bad kind. Like, I'm just enlightening you. I don't know why you're mad. Nick Bates bath time? He wishes. Is that Jim rolling around in the shit? <laughs> I, I got that reference. Did Josh just show a porn website? No, that was live stream. I just had some like uh uh it's like titty ads. Nah. I'm sleepy now. Anything else you guys can think of to watch? Bedtime thing. Oh, Todd Howard <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> Fuck it, we'll watch this. Then I'll play a song and go to bed. Because I'm tired of shit. Hey there. That's right, it's me, Bethesda's Todd Howard. Look, I know you told me not to come around anymore. I know after you bought Skyrim for the Xbox One, you said you were done. Well, at least let me plead my case. Did you know that Fallout 4 is the perfect game? It'll have no load time. Yeah, did you like that? You can create any character you want. We even generate a baby based on the couple you make. 
Does that tickle you fancy? No. <coughs> How about these? True, dynamic, soft shadows. Radiant AI. I guess before you we go, think? I should explain the name of this video is Todd Howard seduces you in the bathroom at a Fleetwork, Fleetwood Mac concert. That's important information. I guess I should have read that before the video. Physics. Go where you want. Do whatever you want. Dynamic, volumetric lighting. All of this is being generated in real time by the game. Over 200 dungeons, all have the most ambitious and detailed game world that we have ever made. It works. It actually works perfectly. We have been working very, very hard to create something special. This is stressing you out. You can play forever. I know your friends told you to stay away from me. And I know those paid mods, man, I screwed that up. I screwed that up real bad, but I promise. I promise I've changed. <laughs> Look, baby, I was under a lot of stress. I mean, Fallout 3 I've had over 200 endings. We're probably doing too much. I'm working too hard. Player freedom still remains one of our major goals. We have a responsibility to do this game right. Our artists have painstakingly modeled over 9,000 objects. <coughs> Even our dialogue is dynamic. The dialogue is the worst part of fucking Fallout 4. Emphasis on making this entertaining. I'm doing all of this for you. Our fans really are the greatest in the world. You're the greatest in the world. That's why I've been working so hard to bring you the kind of experience that you deserve. Now I gotta go. They're playing my favorite song out there, and if I don't dance well, then I'll regret it forever. Because when you think of me, you think of fun. That's the Todd Howard guarantee. Here's my gamer tag. <laughs> now you behave yourself. I can't tell if people hate this guy or, or love this guy. I, I, I'm leaning towards hate. Especially after Fallout 76, like, did he actually shill like Fallout 76? Was he the mind behind it? I don't, I don't pay enough attention to the games industry to know this for sure, but I'm pretty sure most people fucking hate him. It's both. They love to hate. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'll I'll do both. Todd, love, hate, both. But all those are four letter words. How how apropos. It's it's okay, both is in the lead, but hate is eleven times twelve times. 13 times more popular than, than love. So I'm pretty sure most people just fucking hate him. What's this? Just out of my fucking I've really played this like a thousand times. Like, I, I have it. I've, I've definitely played it in at least three different streams. I'm gonna punch you, Josh. Oh, fuck. What the? This better be fucking good. This better be like three minutes long and actually funny. What is this? Okay, fine, I'll play this. Sign in to confirm your age. What? Fuck it, let me, um... Let me download it and I'll play it through OBS directly. I don't know why they had to age restrict this. I'm pretty sure it's just fucking, uh... Just Sam Hyde talking. I mean, it can't be too bad. All right. Live VLC. Uh, where is it? There. That'd be good. 
Like, I've never seen that before. Apparently, somebody, the people are acting as if I should definitely know what that is. But I've not, I've never been just, uh, exposed to it before. All right. I don't think, it, let me check. Because uh, has any drama happened recently on the forum that's worth talking about? I don't think so. I don't think so. Not since you knew. Let me check and see if during the stream they've they've reviewed my appeal yet. Uh, hold my breath. Up. Oh, no, they haven't. It's been three fucking days. They still haven't fucking reviewed it. It's fantastic. Ah. <sighs> Who's starry? I don't even know who Starry is. Uh, I'm too sleepy. I gotta go to bed. I'm gonna collapse and start snoring on the stream and shit. Starry Green Eyes was the tranny who got halaled in less than 24... <laughs> is that the guy with the tits? Is he still posting? Uh, Starry. What board is that in? No, we still posting in. Is it in? Um, you can't be in the uh, the Rat King board, can it? He's just a tranny. He's not like an influential person. The fuck was the name of this guy again? Uh, sorry, Green Eyes. Yeah, hold up. I'll show you guys this person. He's um, he's he's like I don't know his story, but I do know he has tits. We're gonna see some tranny tits here in a second, which means that it's okay because because it's not. Female tits, basically. That's what I'm saying.
Okay, Firefox. Again, these are male tits, so don't worry about it. Yeah, so this is it. This is what I wanted everybody to see. Behold. Behold! I want to make 250 people look at this. It's transphobic to not look at the tits. That's right. That's right. That's how it is. You're welcome. I'm glad you're all <laughs> glad you're happy. I'm, I'm here. I'm ribbed for your pleasure. That's just a butt. That doesn't count. Here. Here we go. Again, these are fem these are male tits, so so don't worry about it. Josh's wife? No, no, it's not. Link your bit shoot, Josh. I can do that. Uh, the the Yanib stream, if you're looking for that, because fucking stream dot me really fucked up the. Uh, The what's it called? The archive. The archive is completely busted. But if you want to go to BitChute at this, which I guess is really obvious, I really shouldn't need to post this. It's obvious. Here I'll I'll, I'll brand them right across the tits. Sex sells. I'm gonna sell my my brand with these boobs. That works, right? All right, select color black. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Wait, wait. Oh, God, it's too big. There we go. Excellent. Go there if you want the Yaneeb stream. Uh, anything else I can think of? I can't think of anything. Uh, I will say this, tomorrow at noon Eastern Standard Time, I will be doing a review of 2018. Um, I'll be going through some, some messages. I put a tweet out and I put a post up on the forum uh, asking, asking about your favorite moments. So if you are, if you are going to be bored on, on tomorrow at noon Eastern Standard Time, you are cordially invited to review the year with me in style. Uh, but I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be streaming too late. I'm not gonna be streaming over uh over the gym stream, I'm not gonna be streaming the actual turn of the year. So no worries there. Update on Kiro. You like you have an update on Kiro or or you want an update on Kiro? As far as I know, Kiro the Wolf is still in forced isolation. Update. He's he's been hiding, dude. He's been hiding, and I think everybody who committed a crime in the zoo sadist circle is fucking gone. Um, Wolf in particular is is just. I mean, he's just fucking gone, dude. He's in the Cuban system. He'll never, they'll never find him again. He's he's just fucking gone. Uh, but Kira the Wolf, I, I think he mentioned that he was under police investigation, and he was acting like like it was only because people kept reporting him, as opposed to him being a suspect. But you know, he could just be a retard and not realize that. They're gathering information on him. Um, I don't think there was that one guy called Devi or something, and he was released, but only because only temporarily because they were going to be charging him with a lot more than just what they had arrested him on, and that required formally uh, releasing him on no charges and then filing charges properly. So.
Yeah, he's he, he. People don't think that he's dead. People think that what happened with him is at least the best theory that I personally heard was, um, they they don't have animal abuse laws in Cuba, but they do have Castro era anti sodomy laws, and sodomy isn't treated as a crime; it's treated as a mental illness. So what people suspect is that Wolf was picked up on 1950s anti-sodomy laws, and he's been interred in a Cuban mental asylum against his will, and they're probably just going to keep him doped up on Thorazine until he dies. That's a... That is the... Yeah, it is pretty scary. I don't envy him. But that's the... uh, that's the best theory that I heard regarding that. That's a good note to end the stream on. Let's see. I'm going to play a song. What song do I have on my computer? He tried, he tried to swim to Miami. We'd send him back if that little Cuban boy from the, the Clinton administration did anything to go by. Uh Hmm. Hmm, what song? Here, I'll play this. I'll play this and then I'm napping. Thank you for watching my, my secret stream. I hope you've been entertained. <laughs> Oh no, I fucked it up. Let's take it from the top. Just ending yet. Sorry, fucker. Be here more punctually next time.